<laughs> I'm not a quilt teacher. That'll just make everybody unhappy. So this is the talk that I, I generally give. Um, but I want to say first, it really is lovely to see you all here today, and I thank you for coming. I love to see quilters getting out and about and, you know, feeding the habit the way we do, <laughs> right? And quilting is very habit-forming, as you may have noticed. Uh, it's actually probably even a little bit addictive. Let's face it, if quilting <coughs> involved chemicals instead of cotton, all of you would be in some sort of 12-step program. <laughs> But I'll tell you one thing I know for absolutely certain, whoever wrote that definition isn't a quilter. Mm -hmm. Quilters know that quilts are a whole lot more than blankets. A quilt made by caring hands can be an embrace to the lonely, a word of affirmation to the discouraged, a memorial to the missing, a balm to the worried soul, a prayer of hope, a celebration of life and love and new beginnings. Quilts have a power and a pull that is really very hard to explain and almost impossible to set down in a few words, though I have tried to do that as best I can. I've been a quilter for more than 20 years now. People often ask me that. And as you know, I'm also a writer. And so when I sat down to pen my fourth novel, the book which would become a single thread, the power and meaning of quilting was very much on my mind. The way I see it, quilts are a perfect metaphor for a life well lived. In quilting as in life, we take the scraps and bits that Providence hands us, pieces that may have uh, complements and colors and placement that are absolutely obvious from the first moment, and then other patches which just keep us scratching our heads and wondering where we are supposed to put these things. It isn't always easy. Very often, the process involves much ripping of seams, at least in my case, and re-sewing of raveled edges. And oftentimes, it can be so frustrating that it will make you quack cry and tempt you to say bad words. And very, very often, the end result comes out looking absolutely nothing like the pattern you began with. But if we stick with it, with time, with effort, with patience, we can stitch together something that is wholly, uniquely ours, and not only beautiful, but useful. 